Army Shelby is he's, he's just very damaged individual. Well, to be honest with you, I'd never heard of this really. You know, um, but we just binge watched the whole thing. Yeah. You know. It seems to be a tradition in this new sort of era of, uh, you know, great TV that that, that people are fascinated by the anti-hero. Mm -hmm. um, and if you break down what the anti-hero actually is, it is conflicted. He never sleeps. He never eats. Crazy. It's actually incredibly exciting. <laughs> So we met for dinner, and that helped, I think. Yeah. It was that duality, you know, where you go, this can't actually be happening. Yeah. You know, I, 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 and that was it. And, you, you know, you never know. Um, but, but fascinating. Well, yeah, I mean, yes. The difference with Peaky Blinders is that it's British. That, that's, that's great writing as well. I don't know. I think there's the... Elevates great writing. There's the walk, you know beneath that sort of exterior. I think that for me was the, the, the sort of bedrock of the character, really. Uh, always find him exhausting. Big man trying to make himself bigger. British. Boring you are. It's a classic thing, you know. I think in real life, the less people are interested in you. Um, but, and the other thing that I kind of, you know, attach myself to is George Bush, mm -hmm. um, not real very well. After seeing stuff that none of us in this room could could ever fathom, yeah. this is it, and I have no fear.